Hello HP Touchpad users, great news. Our brilliant developer James Sullins, aka JC Sullins in the forum, has put out our latest testing build of Cyanogen Mod 9. Here you can see I'm getting a minus 4 battery drain during sleep, just phenomenal. Previously Cyanogen Mod 9 was getting about 20 to 40 uh, battery drain during sleep, so this is a massive improvement. You get a lot better battery life, uh, longevity out of your tablet while it's sleeping. Big thank you to JC Sullins for putting this out for us. Now this is still a testing build, soon it will be incorporated into the nightly builds hopefully, uh, but you can download it here from his testing folder and get it yourself, try it out and leave a little feedback. A little feedback is always much appreciated, simply download it right to the device here. And we'll just get a little feedback, know that this is all working great and soon Cyanogen Mod 9, the regular nightly builds, will also have this incorporated and we'll see better battery life all around. So great improvements have been made. Now this is a simple installation, I'll show you how to do it. You just download the ROM file to your device like I was just doing, then we'll reboot into recovery. You can use Clockwork Mod 6 or Twerp to flash this, no problem. Make sure you're using Clockwork Mod 6, not the older Clockwork Mod 5. There's a new version by JC Sullins. If you haven't heard of it, check out the description of this video. There'll be a link to the video and download links as well. You can flash that at the same time. Now we'll simply go into our recovery. We're going to clear our caches. We're going to first go to wipe cache partition. I use the volume buttons up and down to navigate and press the home button to select. Yes, wipe the cache. Next up, go to advanced. Wipe the Dalvik cache. Yes, wipe cache. Now we're all wiped. We're ready to go back and install zip from SD card. Choose zip from SD card. Here is my latest unofficial Cyanogen Mod 9 build. Simply select it and install it. Now this will take a minute or two. Make sure you have a good charge before flashing any kind of ROM. It can take a little time. You don't want to run out of batteries while this is happening. It would be advised to flash your GApps package afterwards as well. And then you're ready to reboot and play around with your ROM. Great fixes here. Great things happening with the HP touchpad even after a year. It's still going strong. Big thank you to JC Sellens and Dorgray for putting out all the latest updates for us. You can check it all out in the Roots Wiki forum. There'll be links in the description to the Cyanogen Mod 9 thread where you're going to want to leave a little feedback for this latest unofficial testing build. About halfway done. Here you can see some of the newer Clockwork Mod 6 graphics. A little bit different from Clockwork Mod 5. Almost done. And there you have it. Now you can also flash your GFs package after, but I've already taken care of all of the flashing. Uh, we're going to go go back and reboot our system now. Now anytime we wipe our caches, which is a necessary step when updating our ROM, it will take a little time to rebuild the cache as we reboot. Now this is normal and it's necessary. And once we're rebuilt and rebooted, we'll be ready to get back into Cyanogen Mod 9. Now oh, here's Sid. Great to see development keep getting better for Cyanogen Mod on the HP touchpad. We now have pretty much fully functional Cyanogen Mod 9 and 10 ROMs. Quite excellent to see. Let's keep supporting our developers. Maybe we'll see Cyanogen Mod 10.1 on the HP touchpad. Who knows? As long as we've got developers like JC Sullins and Dorgary on our side, anything could happen. So big thank you to them. Go thank them in the forums. It's the best way to show your appreciation. Here we go, optimizing our apps. This will vary. You can see I have 154 installed. Uh, when you do this yourself, you have, may have more or less. Perfectly normal.
Please like the video so more people will hear about this update, test it out, and give JC Sillum some much needed feedback. And please subscribe to see the latest HP touchpad, signage, and mod updates in the future. Also, great gaming videos. I've got a video on how to play Fallout 1 and 2 on Android. Lots of neat stuff. Subscribe and check out my videos. Almost done here. Almost done. And there we go. Now we have installed the latest Cyanogen Mod 9 ROM onto our HP touchpad and we're ready to go. Please subscribe and like the video. Thanks for watching everyone.